Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through IEEE 829 standard test summary report template. This is the template that you will find handy while creating a test summary for your project. The reason we are going to follow IEEE standard is because uh, you get to follow some of the st standard variables or parameters that are usually applicable for most of the software projects uh, it is possible that in your project you may find some of the additional columns or parameters to log in your test summary report it depends on the project and the type of the test activities and results that you are going to log in this test summary template so we will see each one of this field one by one first is test summary report identifier so it could be your com company specific on um, test summary identifier so uh, there is no specific uh, header to append here it could be TSC 01 as an identifier and then summary for the rest of the test after that the column is summary so he here's you're going to carry out summary of your test activities <coughs> after that you will find variances so what are the variances that you have noticed in your test project and you have to log each one of them uh, as per your test activity after that there is comprehensive assessment uh, if you are a junior tester then you are not likely to fill this up because the senior test leader or test pr project manager is going to be filling this information after that evaluation uh, evaluation is also about the test activity about the effectiveness of the testing with respect to objectives and approaches is where we are going to see all the evaluation related details what approach was evaluated and what was the objective behind that evaluation should be recorded here after that summary of activities so for example what test carried out and what was the result of it and what all the test uh, activities and test related documentation was carried out should be written in activities so the task uh, for the specific activity should be like carried out load testing and verified specific load on software or like uh, particular traffic load was tested on website server etc etc mm, after that we have approvals what test activities were approved and rejected should be in this column and after that summary of results so this should be about everything that carried out in your test activity it goes here so this template basically provides useful guideline for what goes in to the template of a uh, company template or you can say standard that your company is supposed to follow um, usually also contains some of the extra columns for the variables under test so like I said previously you'll find a few more fields in here and this report is basically a document that summarizes test activities and results it contains evaluation of the test activities that are carried out and they are tested against the exit criteria 
so evaluation comprehensive assessment variance and summary are very important for you regardless of what type of project you are doing after that uh, this template is from IEEE uh, and you can search for the official uh, document on Google by typing IEEE 829 standards test summary template I have only listed the important very uh, headers here so you may find some additional headers which you can include and you you may find them depending on your project requirement so that is pretty much it and uh, I will see you in next video tutorial if you have any questions have any suggestions or want to improve me on something if you want in-depth video on something then please let me know I'm also trying to learn all this vlogging process so it would be good if you find my videos interesting and want me to continue on that so that is pretty much it thank you